Hello. This is Amit. Uh, one of the developers here at Applicus working on the game Deep Minds. Today I want to share how I do my game design process. I use a tool called Artisy Draft uh, to design uh, the game from characters to storyline to different things really. And I want to just show uh, quickly how I would go about um, designing something. And I don't have anything specific in mind. So I'm going to do something I just had a general idea about, which is say we wanted to design a, a, an ability progression system or something. So let's start. I would first say what character or unit it would be related to. In this case, it would be soldier and I would say this would be an ability one. I would add another one, another flow fragment. This is a flow fragment, this. Uh, and say uh, on level two, ability 2A. Actually, I wouldn't have written level two. I would have written 2A in this idea. So I'm connecting it, ability one with ability two. Great. We have a simple progression system. Basically, when the soldier levels to one, wait, it doesn't say anything about it. So, how should someone know? Well, you add ability one is unlocked once the soldier reaches level one. And on 2A, you will have, for example, unlocked at level two. Great! A little bit more understanding. Let's keep going. Uh, let's write ability three. You probably wondering why I'm writing A, but there's a reason for it. Um, and four. So basically, what we're doing now, we're gonna connect everything and say once you are level two. You can now choose ability 3 and you can choose a new ability at level 4 called ability 4. Nice. Pretty neat. Are we done? Sure. If you wanted something as simple as that, but I'm assuming you don't. Let's make it more complicated than we actually need to, just to give an example of what I can do and what RTC Draft as well can do. Uh, let's say you wanted multiple choices. And at level 1, you can choose between ability 2A or 2B. And then you could choose more abilities. Ability 3B. Or maybe even ability 4B. As following. So basically, as you see visually, it's saying, okay, ability 1 unlocked at level 1, at 2, you can get either ability 2A or 2B. That's why you see these lines. Ability 3 is unlocked at level 3. And at 4, you get ability 4. As you see, it says, once you go this tech tree, I'm just gonna call it tech tree, you have to go 3A and then 4A. But Let's complicate it even more and say at 2B you can in fact choose 3A or 3B and at 3B you can in fact choose 4B or 4A. In fact at 3A you could have chosen 4B and at 2A you could have chosen 3B. So basically you can mix and match saying once you're 2A, you can choose 3A and 3B, but you cannot choose 2B. As you see, it's not connected. At 3B, you can choose 4A or 4B, but you cannot pick 3A. So, example, let's give it more visual. I'm picking automatically, obviously. 
ability one level up new level level two i want to choose ability two b great and level three i want to choose three a and at level four i'm going yeah i'm gonna go for four b cool or say you didn't go for it Say you went for four B instead. As you see it goes back and forth. Stupid colors. Do what you're told. There we go. So ability one, level up, ability two B and three A and four B. Cool. But that's not enough, is it? It doesn't say anything about what ability does, how it looks, and that's why I cheated and picked up League of Legends icons a little bit before I started recording, because I figured I'd need something visually, and that's kind of why I picked abilities, because it's ability related. So here we go. Cool. And you will write info, blah 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 blah, it does this, and you will write info, it does blah 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 blah. And so on and so forth. But there's still a couple of questions. For example, the soldier, what does it do? And who is it? And what's his stats? For example, now as you see, it says drag and drop objects here. This is where you can add references and connections to quickly find the related things, items, mobs, dialogues, conversations and so on. So we're gonna create our character soldier or our unit soldier by going to template design. As I said this is not a tutorial so I'm not gonna explain everything is happening. We're gonna call it soldier prop sorry. We're gonna call it soldier properties as following I click edit and we're gonna call it and this is basically where you can create the template the template basically where you can fill information later on on any part of the program software soldier uh, the soldier or unit needs a name we want it to have a name for the weapon type I would actually have added something else originally, but I don't want to complicate things, so we're just gonna explain the process in another way. And obviously, want the stats for the units. For this particular day thing, we want numbers. Uh, I think <laughs> that's enough. And let's say that would be um, attack. Damage and movement and range, and 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 we're just gonna add something random like armor and I don't know shield. There we go. The template for designing uh, and adding different properties for a soldier unit. Uh, but we still need to do one more thing. We need to create this template because we just created a property for it we still need to add it as a soldier template and by adding it as a soldier template we can now choose one of the pre-made feature properties templates as following but as you see we're not actually adding anything into it we're just creating a specific template using a specific list of information so if we go to the entities say playable character considering it's a unit and let's see called soldier and let's see now we're creating our soldier unit more specifically we are adding an image to tell you that this is how the soldier looks and the soldier template tells you that we can now add name check in array weapon type assault rifle armor type armor no 
light armor. Attack! 10, 10, 10, 15, uh, 22, 18, for example, just random. Now we can go into and we can add the soldier to all of these as a reference. <laughs> these are called reference slots that we're putting into soldier into and you can double click and it will take you to the soldier telling you all right cool and you can write description and it tells you what's it involved in you know we have images it says it's involved to images it's empty here at the moment but let's do one more thing assault rifle if you had a different ops uh, setup you would normally not have weapon type here and attack and damage at the same place all the time uh, because what you would normally do is following I would actually again it depends on the game but let's say you had a different setup uh, you would also have to design weapon properties uh, I'm just gonna go quickly and I'm gonna cheat and just call it assault rifle and we're gonna cheat some more and we're just gonna write attack and range and damage right click apply cool that's a template for this specific weapon template which we already cheated and called assault rifle we'll go in here create a template for the assault rifle specifically the assault rifle and saying okay the assault rifle will have this template any weapon could have this as a template and it could have said instead of assault rifle it would originally say weapon properties as it says to the left here <laughs> but we're cheating a little bit so you can now go into items and pickups for example and say okay one of the new items new entity should be in the side assault rifle just like we did the character assault r so rifle and we can add damage 10 range 10 10 10 and it says assault rifle here let's say we want to know the specs and information of the assault rifle we would add assault rifle here with an image I'm just going to take in a uh, random image. There we go. Not the right image, but still. Basically, looking at the soldier, you see assault rifle, assault rifle. And you can double click and it will take you to assault rifle, knowing the stats. And looking at the reference, you will now see related to. And if you then go in here, you could also, if you wanted to, Add more things in this case I'm just adding assault rifle I can just double click cool and it says involved in what ability if you wanted to have any relation to what abilities is related to cool yeah generally it's not how I would originally do it, it would take more time uh, to do it more proper precisely but it was just a random idea of how I would do something. So this is one way of designing a progression system for an ability and character and making the characters and, and the stats and, and these things in this program called Artsy Draft. Please like, comment, stay in touch. See you guys around. Bye bye.